Hi, I'm Dennis Franklin, and this is a look back at This Week in History. On this day, May 11, 1916, quantum physicist Albert Einstein presents to the world his general theory of relativity, which supported his most famous equation, perhaps of all time, E equals mc squared. Different manifestations of the same thing. A somewhat unfamiliar conception for the average mind. Furthermore, the equation E is equal mc squared. May 12, 1908, Kentucky melon farmer Nathan B. Stubblefield applies and receives U.S. patent number 887,357 for his invention of the wireless radio telephone. This would become the beginning of ham radios, walkie-talkies, and cell phones. May 13, 1981, while making his weekly public appearance in front of a crowd of 18,000 through St. Peter's Square, Pope John Paul II, the 264th Pope of the Roman Catholic Church, was shot two times and critically wounded. Two other innocent bystanders were shot just as a nun and other faithful wrestled the assailant to the ground. After losing three quarters of his blood, five hours in surgery, and three weeks of rest, the Pope would fully recover to go on to serve as the second longest pontiff of all time. May 14, 1973, the United States launches their version of a space station, Skylab. Launched aboard a Saturn INT-21 rocket, it would be visited by three manned missions, many of which carried out extreme physical testing to investigate the astronauts' adaptation to extended periods of microgravity. A little bit of fun uh, doing tricks and stunts and flips and rolls that weren't possible uh, here on Earth. But after five years of being abandoned bye bye and left in a parking orbit, the space station re-enters the Earth's atmosphere over the Indian Ocean and Western Australia, disintegrating into thousands of pieces, but mostly burning up. Cost to clean up? $400 is billed to NASA by Australia. And finally on this day, May 16, 1929, the first Academy Awards are held and M.L. Jannings wins the first Best Male Actor Award. That same evening, Charlie Chaplin, who made many great movies in the Niles area of Fremont, would win an honorary award. For his directing, producing, and acting roles in the circus. And that's a look back at moments this week in history.